My name is Steve Brandt. I was actually a student here in the early 1980s. Eventually, I stumbled on the Dr. W. Edward Deming work. So his management philosophy of a whole systems approach. Uh, sorry, his his whole systems approach really appealed to me because I actually have an engineering background, so design thinking, systems thinking. And I, I mention that because I'm looking at the market question. What does the public know it can have? And what Deming taught was that cooperation can give us a world. He actually did a lecture. He said, everyone could win. We would have a world of not winners and losers, but everyone could win through cooperation. And I got involved in corporate social responsibility and it was never visible to the public. And this whole issue of marketing is what I'd really like you to answer. How can we, because uh, I think it's, it's, it's critical, that the public should learn it has the option for an economics of socially responsible values, not just the shareholders are be all and end all. I don't know why Business for Social Responsibility or even the UN Global Compact doesn't, hasn't gone public. It's never in the New York Times. They have annual conferences and you never hear about it unless you're there. And so this issue of, of what does the public know it can have, that's boggled my mind for a long time. There's a book, Blue Ocean Strategy, written by the INSEAD professors. There's got to be a breakthrough in, in letting the public know what they can have. They're angry and they want to kill people, but if they knew they could have this better world through social responsibility, through what the UN Global Compact and others propose, I think they would force the transformation as consumers, but they don't know they can force it because they don't know they can have it. Okay. Any comments anybody would well, like? I, I wish we had on the panel in advertising. Yeah, well, well you're the perhaps. You're the advertiser. Yeah, no, go, Chauncey, please. Well, just I'll we, comment later. And, and you should definitely comment, Peter. We just finished a, happy to talk later about campaigns and how to go about that because that's, yeah. yeah. I, I would just like to add <clears throat> one thing. I started to work, uh, I was in the research part of Young Ruby Camp once, and, and uh, Deming was, had his cubicle right next to me before he went to Japan. So we had some interesting chats on the subject. But one of the things that I think I, I want to say that it's important for, for you folks to work on and connect with media to a larger degree than we are right now Media, media has, I don't want to say has failed us, but it's following the wrong things. If you look, turn on the television, look at the print, you know what you see. Primarily, every single day is the same subject. And that's an unfortunate thing. And we need to, we need to capture the attention of media on this thing. <clears throat> and that's important, it's incumbent for all of us, people like myself, capitalists who really believe in this, and I think in you folks, who can uh, shed light on it, and, and we need to do more of that because that's really important, that drives progress. Back there.